I have some very exciting news. <laughs> Hello, thanks for watching Game Rating Review. My name is Jean Marc, and I was looking for something to talk about today, and I was looking over the news, looking at video game stuff, and I ran over to IGN just to see if it had some inspiration, and it did. I don't normally go to IGN, but it had this title, Cable TV Loses Over 1 Million Subscribers According to a Report. And I was like, okay, like a million over a year. Well, let's talk about it. So in the article, it says Cable TV lost about 929,000. Comcast lost 106. They lost 32,000. Dish lost 341,000. TV lost 297,000. And I think what is interesting is you, you kind of combine all these numbers to all these cable and satellite outlets. They lost 1.1 million in a quarter. Not in a year, in a quarter. Four months. This is the biggest drop that they have seen. They said new people are moving into homes and that these new homeowners should be new. They should be 200,000 people moving into new homes this year. And instead of bringing their cable over, they're just getting streaming services. So Rich Greenfield gave us this tweet. First time legacy cable satellite companies lost 1 million subscribers in a single quarter based on company reports. <laughs> and he shows these scales of, of losses and gains and Wow. In the same article, it goes on to say approximately 78% of US TV households are now subscribed to some pay TV service and an 8% dip from 2013, which means that, you know, people aren't using cable anymore. Why would you when you have Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, HBO Go, we can get when you want, whenever you want without commercials, unless you get the cheaper version of Hulu. But me and my wife have recently taken the commercials off of Hulu, and whew, it's been amazing. So it's my birthday this month. It is also my me and my wife's anniversary this month. For our anniversary, we went to a hotel, and I'm finding that one of the quirks of getting a hotel now is that um, there's cable TV there, and you're kind of just stuck channel surfing, and then reminding yourself how bad it used to be as to how you have it now and, and how you just surf the TV looking for something to watch. You settle on one thing because you don't have anything else to watch. We ended up watching a marathon of ghost adventures. <laughs> yeah, we were laughing through most of them and that was our anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> was laughing their ghost adventures yeah and most smart tvs now come with smart you know options like netflix youtube if we had a youtube app we just would have been watching youtube stuff youtube is a huge app and a lot of people are using it we we watch youtube probably every single morning uh whenever we wake up streaming's awesome streaming is great and it has revolutionized television, I think for the better. Netflix is coming out with some really great shows. So is Hulu coming out with some really good original stuff. But you know, Netflix is a standard. Everyone gets Netflix. It's basically just to watch The Office every single season. Pretty much the reason they get Netflix. They have some original shows that are really good. But otherwise, that's it. Hulu is if you want your NBC, ABC, and Fox shows and you just want to watch those, that's what that's for. Then you have HBO, of course, for HBO shows. Amazon's pretty good. I like Amazon because you can rent movies from there. You don't have to go to the red box. They're a little bit more expensive than Amazon, but I say that, you know what, that's just like convenience cost where I don't have to go to red box and come back. That's why I love using the Amazon app because you can just rent a movie, you have it for 24 hours and, and it's good. You can just rent it, it's like two bucks, you have it, you know. It's great it's convenient i haven't read box since having the amazon app i just ran all of my videos off amazon and of course i subscribe to vrv vrv is where i get my more uh scary movies off of shutter and where i watch anime off of crunchyroll and watch their vrv original stuff which is actually really good those are the four that i have and these four are way better than cable than the satellite tv as my parents had and just sitting there and trying to map out what you're gonna watch go through these long menus be like oh man what am i gonna watch next 
you you have control you have free control and, and this is where the industry is moving and soon no one's gonna have cable everyone's going to be pay to pick television and pay to pick streaming services off the internet that that's all that's going to be left and tv is going to be smart to do this because in five more years 10 more years will there even be cable anymore other than in hotels you know and even then if our hotels are smart they would just provide these things and be like yeah just log in and be sure to log out when you leave just have hulu sitting there just have the company pay for hulu every month and just have it there you can watch whatever shows it would actually be cheaper if hotels just had their own hulu subscription and just you know let, let people use them so i don't know i'm excited cable really sucked when I first got Netflix, it was whenever they were delivering the movies via the mail, and then they had their online component, which blew me away, and I've been doing it ever since. So, very happy Cable's getting it. They've had a monopoly, and so it's satellite on people's watching experience for too long, and now you could pick if you want to have commercials or not. You can choose to pay more if you'd like to. You could still have commercials because that's the cheaper way to go. I'm glad to see it. This has nothing to do with video games, not really, but I'm just excited to hear this. <laughs> Thank you for watching Game Radio Review. My name is Jean Moore. Please hit the like, subscribe, and like what you see. And that was my thoughts on cable dying because it needs to.